the bizarro method of Bible application is something that I made up. You won't find it in any textbook. Um, uh, but the bizarro way is essentially going through a Bible text and coming up with the opposite of what it's actually teaching, which sounds heretical, sounds dangerous, but hear me out, it's actually very, very useful. So three uh, bizarro points from Esther chapter 4. Number one, God will never allow anything bad to happen to his people. Number two, don't get involved in politics unless you're a politician. Stay away from it. And number three, you are worth it. God's love, God's salvation, you deserve it all. So three bizarro wrong points from the Bible. And then you realize people actually believe these wrong points. So what is the Bible teaching us from Esther chapter 4? Number one, Mordecai is mourning with those who mourn. The reason why he puts on sackcloth and ashes is not because his life is in danger, but he's identifying with God's people who are being oppressed. He's mourning with those who mourn. And secondly, he speaks truth and love towards Esther. Hard truths. Go to the king. Risk your life, Esther, and plead for your people because he loves her. He wants her to be faithful. But finally, God's faithfulness is not contingent on our obedience. He says to Esther, you know, if you remain silent, you know, you don't say anything, God's deliverance will arise from another place. God will still be faithful to his promises. He will still save us, even if you are faithless and disobedient. But he wants you to be faithful. So those are three truths that are spoken, you know, from Esther chapter 4, but not into a void, but spoken into a bizarro world, into a world that holds alternative truths from the Bible. And the Bible is speaking truth, strong truths, new truths, loving truths into such a context. That's the bizarro application. Well, at least for me, I find that useful. Um, and this is day five of Esther chapter three to four.